What a bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Hint at? No, more like reveal. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacony? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm going to be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Same as always, pal. You can still don't get it. Just turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. Something...
problem? Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! Oops! Uh, I haven't introduced myself! My name is Cloggy. I'm a famous celebrity in Patagonia. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Herder, Hamster Ball Mine, intent. 
were the guardians of Dreamville, after all. Tick tock! Mind your own business, lad. I have to let that lady there know she's the person. to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? What's wrong with us? What's wrong with us? Hey, hey, may I ask you a question? Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? I, I wasn't. Ooh, thanks for doing that. If we laid a finger on our guests just now, have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. I'm so sorry for stirring up all this trouble. Alas, why did I get so worked up all of a sudden? It's, uh, it's, it's baffling. Oh, my great friend, you have to tell me that stone is behind this. Stone? Uh, I, I'm not sure I get what you mean. Anyway, I think I owe everyone a proper apology. Hey, gang, gang, light up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Ready? Go! each other again so soon. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, I stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady uh, your friend too? <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before. He has a kind soul for helping me out. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. The beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? I think it's that simple. Could it have something to do with that, uh, clocky that only you can see? Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality, but I mean in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. Seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clocky really exists, 
I can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Shortly after we parted ways, I met a lady wearing a black veil who was also a guest at the hotel. We made a good time talking about the event and her drinks. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? Huh. Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that flocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. I guess this could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. Oh, no! We're not on a date! <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again.